This video will explain how to manage users on your EMQN account. If you wish to add another user to your account, the primary account holder must log into their EMQN account by visiting our website at www.emqn.org. Then click Login. Once you are logged in, click on Laboratory Staff. Here, you will see a list of staff who have already been added to the account, and you will see a summary of how many users have been allocated and how many you still have available. Buying additional quotas of staff membership. By default, users have 10 staff members available for allocation included with the EMQN membership fee. If 10 is not sufficient for your laboratory, you can purchase additional quota to add more staff members to your account. To do this, please navigate to Purchase, then scroll to the right of the page and click on Additional EMQN Membership. Here, you will see the extra EMQN membership quota. Extra membership quotas are purchased in multiples of five. In order to complete your purchase, click Add to Basket. You can add multiple if you'd like. At this point, scroll down and click Proceed to Checkout. Then click Buy Now. Your order is now complete. EMQN will approve your purchase, which can take up to 24 hours. When your order is approved, you will now see 15 members for allocation. How to add a user to an account. Only users with lab administrator permissions can add a new member of staff. To add an additional member of staff, Click on Add Staff Member. Enter the details of the staff member as prompted and select the permissions of the user. When adding new staff members, you should think carefully about which permissions to select. Most new staff members will have base level permissions, which is represented as the lab staff member permission. As a lab staff member, the user can interact with schemes by viewing historical scheme participation documents, submitting results, and submitting appeals. However, this permission does not enable the user to purchase schemes, submit root cause analysis reports, or modify lab details. The Quality Manager permission has the same base level permissions as the lab staff member, but in addition, they can purchase and withdraw from schemes, view and submit root cause analysis reports, as well as amend laboratory details, such as the delivery and billing contact or address. EMQN recommend one to two staff members at most are quality managers. Finally, the lab administrator permission. The lab administrator can perform all tasks of both the lab staff member and quality manager, but they can also manage staff members. For example, they can add new staff members, amend staff permissions, as well as purchase additional staff quotas. Once you've made your selection, click Add. The user will now receive an email informing them that they are to assign themselves a password for their account. They can now assign the password and log in. How to manage existing users. If a user on your account has full permissions, they can manage the staff on the account. By clicking on the edit button beside a user, you can update details and permissions of each user on the account. When finished, click update. By clicking the blue Remove symbol, you can remove a user. Any changes for removing staff are final. How to reassign the primary contact. The primary contact is identified by not having the green arrows on their line. The current primary contact is the only person who can reassign the role of primary contact to a different user on your account. If you would like to reassign the primary contact, click on the green Reassign button beside the user you would like to be made the new primary contact. However, it is important that before you do this, that the user that you intend to become the new primary contact has the correct permissions. Please edit their account by selecting Administrator Permissions and clicking Update. When you click Reassign Primary Contact, you will be asked if the existing primary contact has left the laboratory. Only click yes if you want the current primary contact details to be removed from the system completely. This is detailed in the explanatory text on the screen. You will not be able to re-add the contact to your account using the same email address if you remove them from the system. When you click continue, you will be automatically logged out of the system. 
If you click no to the primary contact leaving the laboratory, you can now log back in with the same username and password, but you will no longer be the primary contact.